He helped the military get in shape in Iraq, and today he's going to help you make a change. Personal trainer and fitness model Jake Sawyer is here. He says it doesn't always take a lot of equipment in a gym to get in shape. He's going to show you how a fitness ball and dumbbells can help strengthen your core. Great to have you back again Hi. today, Jake. Good, good. Thank you. Thank and, you. And uh, so you'll be my inspiration here since uh, this is one of your modeling photos we've got. Uh, see that. Uh, Captain Merrill Getline is back again Hello. with us today. Now you said you work a lot with women. Yes, yes, Greg. What, what I like to do and focus on women is a lot of core training. Mm -hmm. uh, it helps to sculpt the body um, and it's a different aspect and dimension with women. I mean it's important to do strength training. You need to get the dumbbells going, you need to get cables going, but right. the aspect is the core. I mean that's very important for women and the women as they get older. Um, a lot of us, we, we kind of neglect that part of our body, mm -hmm. and so what I like to do is, is, with my women, is work on balance and core exercises. Today I'm going to show you some things that can actually increase that core strength. Okay, great. Yeah, because I just want to say, you know, we do a lot of the fitness shows, and a lot of times maybe it skews more towards the guys, I don't right. know. So when you said that you work a lot with women, I thought, well, that would be great, because it, it kind of gives us the other side, too. It's so. very, very important. Like I said, we neglect it, and, and women do, too. Please so how long that. have you been training? I've been training here um, in Palm Springs for about two years. Two years. Um, before that, I, I was deployed to Iraq. Um, before that, I was here in Palm Springs for about a year before. So I was, mm -hmm. I was here for a year after college, got deployed, came back, started my personal training business, primarily in-home, mm -hmm. and now I'm looking to expand. I do part-time in L.A., mm -hmm. Uh, training and modeling uh, Fridays and Saturdays, so just try to split my time up. And what did you do for the soldiers in Iraq? Uh, well, I did a lot of different things. My primary job was I was a convoy specialist, so I ran convoys, mm -hmm. um, security, stuff like that, and then I was actually injured, um, blown up by an IED oh my God. out of my vehicle and put me into rehab for wow. a little over a month. And so what happened during that, I was sent to Kuwait to rehab my foot, my back, and my arm, and, you know, they had zero to none facilities there, and I started writing letters to Weeder, and I started writing and getting things sh shipped over to send. Really? To wow. set up so Joe Weeder so sent equipment over? He didn't himself, but oh. um, we did have companies that said, yeah, we'd love to. So we had companies wow. set over, sent over equipment, dumbbells, free weights, all that stuff. So we, we were able to, to, to throw together a decent facility so the guys can, it's sort of a morale booster, because, um, you know, after being up, up in Iraq for, whatever, a couple months, your morale gets down, so you need to come sure. down, rest, call your family. But in working out, it's part of that whole mind-body therapy spirit. Sure. So It's just hard for me looking at you to think that you were injured. I mean, so you you recovered fully? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I still have some lower back stuff that goes on once in a lower while. Back. But surgery on my foot, had to put that, but that the foot was put back together. Um, this put back together. Uh, my, yeah, there's a couple of different surgeries for that. Wow. So it's been it's been it's been rough. But like I said, I've been back for two years, and I've really been focused on getting my business going, uh, taking care of my clients. Um, they're pretty much number one in my life. Uh, and so well today captain getline is number one in your life captain. what are you, you going to do for her what captain, captain. i must say <laughs> one thing i'd like to do is start out with the captain and the missus is um we're going to do some ball stuff a lot of ball stuff today and one of them would be to a good warm-up um what you want to do is come on over here okay hold that ball you want to hold it out the width and we're going to work on a little squat and a lift so we want to say okay. nice and square in the base okay. a little wider on the feet and what you want to do is sit back on your heels on your squat, right? So the butt wants to go back, the hips want to go down, sitting on the heels, right? And you're holding we'll the follow arch. Her back. Do we have another ball? Can keep, I follow along? Keep your eyes up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll watch. Right, and then come back up. You want to get down, you want to work, so get comfortable, try to get down as far as you can. Good, right. And back up. A little more arch in the lower back on, on the way okay. down, and lift that ball up as you go down. A little high, good, and back up. Let's do that one more time, just like that. Keeping the eyes up, back arched. Okay. Oh, you sound like Mark, my Good. trainer. Yeah. yeah. Eyes up. Uh, eyes up, always. That helps your squat. Good relax. And, and that sort of thing will get your will get most of your body warmed up. You get the shoulders, the you legs can involved. Feel it. Yep. You can get that core strength going. Um, so then what I would have you do is go right into sitting on the ball. Okay, should I face this way? Sure. Facing away. So we, way want. you want to go. What we'll do is feet together like you like so. And we want to work on some of the, the, the hip movement, the core strength, the abs. So what you want to do is I want you to try and from there, rotate your hips forward. And moving that ball, let that ball roll forward. Just pretend you're flying the plane. Relax. And come on back. You actually want to keep your heels down on the ground. I, is this yep. what we're doing? Come on back up. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to keep your heels down heels and you want down. to rotate your hips forward. Okay. 
No, I like I like watching somebody else one be the guinea pig with this. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry, my feet are slipping for one thing. That's oh, so no good. So what you want to do? Try this one more time. So all you're doing is moving your hips. You're not going to move your feet. You're not oh, going to okay. roll the ball. Moving right, my right, hips. right. Okay, sorry, I missed the point. Okay. Try that one. Come on back. Don't try not to move your feet. Bring them back in a little further. I try to go. Let's, let's work on going side to side rotation with the hips. Right. That's a good. Good. That gets you familiarized with with some of the abdominal strength and muscles you're not really used to working. Yeah. Transverse abdominis, the lower back, the abs. So are you holding it tight the whole time? You want to hold it tight the whole time. Oh. I mean like even now when you're standing there, yeah, you're like holding it tight? It's pretty much tight all the time. Tight. Okay. <laughs> Remember that. Yeah. I'm oh, trying to remember it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Right. Okay. Let's try Obviously. this one. What I want to do, this after week. after doing rotation, we should get that comfortable front, okay. back, left, right. And then what I'm going to have right. you do is roll all the way back right. down to your, you get to create a bench with your body. Right, heels are to get right about there. Keep rolling down to your, your head and shoulders around the ball. Uh oh, I'm Walk gonna be on the floor. Up. You're okay. Slipping. Gotcha. Hips up. Okay. Right. Remember your head's gonna be the most you wanna keep going down. Try that. Right. Remember what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate a bench press, but without any weight, you want to we're gonna hold it. There you go. What you wanna do is bring these up over your head, just like a bench, keeping those hips up high. And what's and we'll start repping it out nice, easy, and slow, nice and wide. It's easier now, with no weight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we had weight, you should feel the difference. And what we'd do... Would you want me to get those? Uh, sure, absolutely. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, Mark, you <laughs> <laughs> I was doing so well, too. And what we'll do is work on a little bit of core strength here. And this okay. is good. What she's good. She will feel... We'll give you a little challenge, Captain. Yeah, thanks a lot. She'll feel her hamstrings and her glutes first while holding this position. And what I'll do is give you this. Okay. Give you this. Okay. Same thing. We're going to do a couple reps up and squeeze, keeping those hips up. Right, just like that. Now we'll do a little challenge. So hold them both up, and I want you to go right side only. A couple reps. You should feel a little shift in the abs. Yeah. Keeping them tight, keeping the abs tight, doing one side at a time. What I would do is say 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Okay. And you can go twice through. Let me do right. some on the other side. Right, we'll absolutely. Out of time. And abs are tight and the hips are up. Mm -hmm. You feel anything in your, your hamstrings yet? Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, then it'll all start to burn. <laughs> Quite. Keeping those hips out, good. Okay. Okay, go ahead and relax, and I'll take these. Okay. <clears throat> good. And that's, it's beginner. It's beginner, and it's great. And it's, it's great for women. Hello. That help to sculpt. <laughs> go ahead and come on up. You can get up now, <laughs> I think. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's one different exercise. Okay. Let me show you one more for the back. And this one, it's, it's a balance and a core. We're going to go one foot at a time. Weight's going to be on the ball. Your, your actual body weight will be on the ball. And we're going to, I'll give her a dumbbell, and we're going to pull one side at a time. Keep the head up, keep the arch, and we're going to pull. Okay, working on it. Okay. So I'm telling you, I'm not going to look the same, but... Yeah. You will All do right, well, so I promise. Left hand and on the right it's foot mine. and right. And what was the rest of that again? A lot of weight on the ball. Weight on the ball. Right. Leg up, hips are square, head up, arching. I'm gonna have you use this. We're gonna pull one side at a time. Like that? Right, down, all the way down with it, up and pull. It looks great. I saw a statue like that once. Keep the <laughs> 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 keep those hips square. You wanna keep this leg hold it right here. Oops. Yep. It's starting to fall over. Just keeping those abs tight. That'll keep your balance. You want to keep your leg right here. Not up and down. You stick it. Oh, just hold it. You're going to hold your leg, but yeah. you do want to pull. You want to rep. Oh, I see. Okay. That looks good. So much with coordination part. Oops. I failed that part. Actually, I was going to say we can have you hold that pose. We'll be right <laughs> back right after this. <laughs> We are back with Jake Sawyer and Captain Gutline today telling you how to strengthen that core. Okay, Jake, what are we doing now? Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on a little bit of balance while we're here. So what I'll have uh, the Captain do is go ahead and sit up nice and straight, abs are tight. I want you to pick up your right foot and hold that there, All right? Working on balance. Then I want you to take your left hand and out from the side of you, you want to lift that guy up and down. And all the way down. 
and all the way up. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to give you a little weight. We're going to throw that balance off, keeping those oh, no. abs tight. Oh, no. Same motion, but you want to bend that elbow. Keep that weight closer to your body. So you want to, you know, all the way, going a little and, too and high. And what muscles it. are you, what are you working on right We're now? Working the core, working a lot core. of transverse so the core the whole time, okay. Abs are tight. So we're going to sculpt that core and working, just working those, the delts. So which way am I going Yep, you're going to lift here and then back down. Lift here, good. Back down. So what's easier, flying the plane or doing the workout? Flying the plane. <laughs> flying the plane is easier, much easier. Good. Now, do you have a, a solid workout plan for you? Me? Yes, ma'am. I ma have a uh, half, uh, we'll say baked to be polite, half baked workout plan for me. I don't have a good do, workout Do you work plan. out? I do. I just That's started a program with my, my honey bunny with using the bungees. Oh, bu you know, bungee the jumping? Cables. Not bungee jumping, bungee <laughs> cables. The, the, yes, bungee jumping. <laughs> yes. We do, we do the cable thing instead of the free weights, right. is what I'm trying to say. And the cables but are great. But we just started. You can see I'm a mess, you know. So yeah. how, how often do you work out with the bungee stuff? Um, four days a week. Four days a week. Yeah, okay. but I sw I'm a swimmer. I swim like crazy. I swim a oh. mile at least a few days a week, three, four, five days a week sometimes. Okay. Great. That's great. Yeah. I mean, what, what we're trying to do here is, is add a different dimension. And, and this is something we can do outside. We do with, you know, with clients, I'm out by the pool or I'm out, you know, mm -hmm. out at the beach or, or somewhere. Um, we don't necessarily have to be in a gym. The gym gets monotonous. Um, mm -hmm. And, it, you know, sometimes it's crowded. Some people want to be very private, very exclusive. Uh, and we take these balls, I mean, they inflate, deflate easily. And sometimes, what, you know, I, like I said, with my clients, we'll travel. Mm -hmm. um, Last year, I went to Alaska with a couple of clients. We did, oh, really? we did an outdoor adventure, hiking, kayaking. It's a different I aspect. Well, so this wasn't one of those Alaska cruises. This then. is not a cruise that, that I put together. Um, but what this stuff, this core training, you know, it actually enables them to hike better, sustain more energy. Um, it, you know, we did deep sea kayaking, and without the, the ability to rotate back and forth, hmm. they wouldn't be able to, you know, to keep up. Um, so, so it's great. It's great. It actually works out. And it probably makes it a little more interesting. I think of what uh, Dean Carnassus, the runner, told me once um, when he was here that, uh, you know, that I run on the treadmill a lot, and he said, oh, get out of the outdoors, you know, enjoy the outside, and get out. And I do that now more and more. I hardly ever, I don't run as much on the treadmill now. I run outside just because you get the ocean and the mountains and not just the the window right right no that's it's important to mix it up this is another dimension let's try this one together okay, what I want to do is start with those weight down by your side just like so. so abs are tight so nice and straight we want to curl and press it up over your head and as you press you want to rotate this way right so come back down bring that weight back down right elbows are in bring the weight back down to a curl so you, Oops, this no, way. That's okay. No, you want to start with a hammer curl. So you want to start with your palms in okay. here to curling and pressing up and around. Right, there you go. Oh, that kind of curl. It's, now I know. It's more of a natural range of motion. Good. And what we're not trying to do is obviously she's not trying to body build. She's not, you know, she wants to be healthy in shape. She wants to be able to hike. She wants to be able to do those things with her, with her man, she said, with her <laughs> hubby, with her partner. And her honey bunny. Uh, I think honey bunny. Honey used, bunny. Yeah. With that. So this is the type of stuff we need to do. Yeah, I know. I'm terribly out of shape. It's embarrassing. I would not say you're terribly out of shape, but you've got to start somewhere. Yeah, well, it's time to start somewhere. <laughs> So once you won't come back next time, I'll know why. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to check on you in a couple months. And see okay, how please do. I'm coming to Palm Spring. See if I'm goofing off. Good. Okay, go ahead and relax. I'll throw one more in. I'll take these. Thank these. you. Go ahead and stand up. Another balance. So what I want to do is one side at a time. I'm only going to give you one. I want to stand nice and square. Heels are square, mm -hmm. right? Just like that squat, keeping the head up. The eyes are going to be up. You want to sit back on the heels, up, curl, press, and push it over. Just like you did. It's similar. I'm just adding another dimension into the curl and the press. So you want to squat, keep the eyes arch, mm -hmm. curl. Keep the arch straight. in the back. That might I sound like I know what I'm talking about, arch but I know you need to keep the arch <laughs> in the back. almost sound like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let's try that. All right. That's, okay. It feels very... So Awkward to me to sit back on my heels like arch, that. Arch, hips come back, eyes are I up. always lean forward. Does that happen with a lot of people? Yeah. I want to go forward on my toes, not on the heels. Absolutely. Oops. It's your center of gravity. 
doing this, right? So, so what do you do about that? How do you adjust it? Would you, you actually need to keep your chest over your hips, so you have to lean forward. As your hips go back further, your chest needs to come um, forward to keep your center of gravity over your hips. So it's kind of like, it's, a, it's definitely a field exercise, so that looks good. Try to get down a little further, okay. keeping that arch, keeping the eyes up. <laughs> I'm just going to fall one more, more inch and I'm falling over no, I promise you won't fall. <laughs> and I will kill you in the process probably. <laughs> you signed the waiver? <laughs> <laughs> she did. Hey, very good. <laughs> did you read that thing, by the way? <laughs> Down, keep the eyes, arch. That looks great. And how many sets of this do you do? How many reps? This is something that you do one side to the other. So I like to start out with 15 to 20 reps on one side, 15 to 20 reps on the other. Now that, that second side, it, it's gonna get a little more difficult, but you gotta push through it. What, you know, with that added extra weight on one side, it throws your balance off. Um, it keeps that core engaged, keeps those abs tight. This is one of the reasons why I do that. Good, okay, let's try the other side. Feel a little different. So those legs are probably getting a little fatigued. Hips back, hips back. Good, that's much better. So you catching on already? Slow learner here, actually. So am I hired or what? <laughs> Arch, eyes up. If you want to move to Denver, you're hired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hips, 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 arch. Good. Yeah, I just think it's hard to keep the form because if you have to keep the hips, well, the butt back, right? The butt out right. and the chest forward. And anyway, I never, well, you know, and with you being a little taller, it's, it's different. Um, your center of gravity is different from mine. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not six feet, but... Um, Although you saw Mark, who, I, you know, is, he yes, can still do it. So it's six, interesting that some people who are tall... Yeah, this should be easier okay. for me, right? Because my center of gravity is... It, it will be. It just takes more than one ten-minute session. It feels session so unnatural, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should... Good. I'm doing this right, right? Okay, yeah. Go ahead and relax. Good. I'll take this. Okay. And, but those squats are important, and it's important for, for women. Um, in this multi-directional stuff, uh, you know, there are a lot of different aspects that you should try and implement into your workout. Um, this core stuff is the base. It's the things that we want to get in probably at least three to four times a week. Uh, and, I, and I do that with, with my clients. We, it's essential for them to get a good warm up, get that core strength going, and moving some weight around for uh, secondary. All righty then. Yeah. Get the bungees out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's something, like I said, you living down in L.A. at the beach, you can, you can bring this stuff anywhere. 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 Yeah, that's good, because so you're not tied to the beach. You can take it on the road or the plane or... I would uh, like to be tied to the beach. <laughs> tied to the beach? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. And you do a lot of hiking up in the mountains, though, and stuff like that. I and, do, uh, I do. I try to organize hikes all over, primarily in the desert, um, with my clients. Pro you know, I try to get one in every month. But with my schedule, with their schedules, it's, it's a little hard. It doesn't happen all the time, but it's, oh, it's a different aspect that we need to do to stay fit, to stay healthy, and, and not always be in the gym. Not just in the gym. You know. We'll be right back. We are back with personal trainer Jake Sawyer today telling you how to strengthen that core, especially for women. Uh, so what is this? What is this plaque all about? Oh, this, this was a... Uh, you know, a fitness expert, I guess I was nominated of the desert to... You were the fitness expert yes. of the desert? That's your official title that now? That was You won the, you're the, okay. <laughs> Not really. And this is the Desert I'm Post Weekly, okay. Yes, May 18th, 2006. Made the cover of that, so we... So you were working out with a desert fitness expert. Wow. Alrighty. <laughs> so what questions would you have for the desert visit, I, if I can talk, desert fitness expert? I think that's well, what I'm trying to say. two spring to mind. Once, one is, we just bought some bungees, some of those strong rubber bands mm -hmm. that, are, that are great. And the guy who put them out said you don't need to use free weights because you can do the same thing, only better, with these rubber bands, these bungees. So right. do you agree with that, or are the free weights necessary for different types of training? Uh, you know, for, for women, I, be I believe you need them both. I, I think the strength training with the, the, the cables is great. I mean, the bungees are great. What that does is it, it works on your stabilizers, some of the intrinsic muscles around the joints to help strengthen those up, mm -hmm. ligaments, tendons, because when you're pushing or pulling, that weight is resistance and it, you know, you're wobbling. So what's doing is strengthening the smaller muscles around the joint uh, to protect the joint. Um, now with weights, I think that's a total different aspect. You can do, you know, you can do more free weight stuff. You, know, you can do some jumping, some bounding, pushing, pulling, pressing, one-legged you know, things that w we did earlier. Um, instead of keeping, you know, with that band, you can only 
hooked that to so many things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's kind of, it's two-dimensional, weights can be three-dimensional. I think it's important for women to do all of it. Okay. Okay. And then the one real big embarrassing question is the cellulite thing in the back of the legs that women have, not that I have such a thing, right. <laughs> but just say I did for a minute. Uh -huh. What do you, is that actually possible to get rid of through exercise or is that just the curse and I, you're, you're stuck with it until you're I, dead? I think um, I've had pretty good success with a lot of my women. We need to strength train, increase a little muscle density, which increases metabolic rate. Um, we need to put it on a solid diet. Um, the diet plan, it's more of a diet attack. It's not, I'm not saying diet to saying, you know, we need to change everything up, but we, we might need to tweak this and tweak that, eat earlier, eat later. There are certain things that I like to look at um, as far as caloric intake, as far as how many carbs, protein, we look at everything. So certain things need to be added, certain things need to be pulled out. Um, and then the cardio, the cardio needs to happen and the strength training, it's, it's all inclusive. Um, but yes, to answer your question, I do believe you can get rid of some of that cellulite. Okay, so we're talking modification like plain donuts instead of frosted right. donuts. <laughs> right. That's sort of right. terrible. Oh, you're going to give up the, the, the frosted donuts? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. You no, might okay, have to give I thought, up. I, you know, is it even possible? I don't know. To, you might uh, have to give up a few sweets. <laughs> were, you, were you eating anything in the green room? Oh, no, 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 not no. me. Okay. Solid donuts? You mean besides donut okay. and pizza? I, no. I called, no. yeah, solid donuts. <laughs> yeah, I know. As a personal trainer, don't you love the food we offer yes. around here? Yeah, that's pizza, <laughs> donuts. <laughs> and hey, it's good stuff. Yeah, so I had to go yeah. get a protein shake All right, somewhere. those are my questions, so okay. there is hope. Well, we're going to help her work off those donuts then in the pizza. So uh, what could you do here in right. the last few minutes? Okay, let's too, try uh, this. What we're going to do is work on a lunge. This is a multi-directional move. So you want to, what we're going to do is get you in a solid lunge position. Okay, then I want you to, we're going to lower the level and then curl, right? As you go down, <laughs> that's you right. You even watch me. You wanna, you're going to have to <laughs> back that foot up. You might want to just stick with her, I don't know. <laughs> right. You're good, so I'll try, though. focus okay. on, there you go, lower that level and up. So now I'm going to throw a different dimension into that. What I want you to do is with the weights. Okay, his ball is chasing me. We'll get rid of that ball. With the weights, I want you to, Oops. as you're lowering your level on that lunge, okay. bring the weights up to curl. Right, and then back down, the weights come down. That's right, no pain, no gain, right? I'm a true believer in working hard. Good, okay, I want one more thing. Whoops. Just relax, just kind of shake those legs up, because what I'm gonna do is we're gonna work on a similar movement, getting that lunge, but instead of doing the bicep, we want to lift laterally. So as you go down, you're gonna work on the shoulders and the delts as well. So go down, lift laterally. Right. You can do that. You're catching on already. Down. Now on your lateral, hold on one second, you want to bend the elbows and keep that weight in tight. Yes, yes. Oh, those laterals. Yes. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to fall over just doing this part. This is embarrassing. Right, I promise I won't laugh. But I will pick like you that? up. Right. So down, the lunge, lift it. There you go. That looks good. Not bad for a first timer. Good. Keeping those elbows up high. Okay. I can hear my knees crunching. I hear. <laughs> I can hear. <laughs> what exactly does that mean when the knees crunch? Because mind you, I, actually, I think Mark looked at me the other day and said, uh, "Was that your knee? Or you, was that you?" Um, it's uh, not good. Okay. <laughs> it is <some> not good. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's not. Uh, you, what, what that usually is is tendons popping over the bone. Sometimes they get caught up. Uh, it could be inflammation due to inflammation or, mm. or different reasons. Yeah. Not always. Can bad you hear thing. it? My knees are crunching like <laughs> let's crazy. Tr let's try the other oh, leg. It sounds like Rice Krispies down there. But does there. it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt yeah. at all, other than my ears. <laughs> Good. No, I can really feel that, yeah. She's working up a sweat here. Good. Folks. Well, somebody's got to. <laughs> That's what they pay me for. Right. You're nice and even it high on those elbows. High on the elbows. High on the elbows. Lifting laterally. Good. Get one more of those. Right, as you go down, I that's when you lift. Stage <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Yeah, it's funny. Do you want to try? Do I want to try? try? Okay, what Let's am I try. doing here? So getting a big lunge, but you're going to have to go in a wide, wide okay. lunge. So big step. It's wide lunge, okay. Yep. Good. And as you lower, no, let's start up. Oh, okay. And the weight's going to be down by your side. Okay, sure. Okay. Now, look, and I didn't go nearly that low. Is that how you're supposed to do it for real? Look, he's practically touching the floor. Well, that's his back leg. Your legs are half his length. Oh. So, yeah, right. And I as forgot. you go down, that's when you want to lift. You really want to lift. Lift laterally. when I go up. Okay. So when you go I go down up. and lift laterally. Nope. Lift. Oh, yeah, you lift go. Laterally. Down, okay. lift. And then. And up. Nope. No, bring the weight back down. So it's doing just a lateral oh, lift. Like this. Then, right. And then back up. Okay. So. Like there that? you go. Yes, sir. Hey. Adding okay. a different dimension into that lunge. 
Alrighty. Well, Mark would be impressed if he could see this. My trainer, wondering what I'm. <laughs> we'll tell him all we'll about it for you. We'll fire him. It was magnificent. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Well, in our last minute here, have you got any uh, <coughs> final advice or suggestion for people who want to strengthen their core, or for women in particular? Balance, uh, multi-directional movements. Get a ball. Get some light weights. Uh, and, and work on sucking the abs in, squeezing them. <laughs> it's <laughs> always a good thing. Sitting up straight. Pull it in. Sucking in. Yeah. I That's actually I have do. a ball, and I have the weights, and I the bungees are new, but everything else we've got. So and now you have about eight different now exercises to do at home. What to do? Yeah. Well, this That's is fitness great. model Jake Sawyer today, showing Captain Merrill Gutline how to get thank in shape. Thank you very it. much, thank Jake. Thank you. Thanks for having thank me. You, thank you, Captain. Thank great you. job. Oh, thank Thanks you. everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay. So what's our final? How about?